Hello and welcome to an Unrate Quickie on how exactly the Unrate parity works. In this video, I'll be concentrating on the parity protection using one parity drive. A unread setup consists of multiple data disks as seen here, optionally one or more cache disks as seen here, and up to two parity drives as seen here. The parity drive has to be the same size or bigger than the biggest data drive. In return for sacrificing its usable space, we are able to protect ourselves from one drive failure. But why is that? And how does parity actually work to keep your data when a disk fails? We can imagine each disk as a row of slots that can either have a 0 or a 1 inside. For example, the letter A would be represented as 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Letter B would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Letter C would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on. Let's save each letter to one of our data drives. What Unraid now does is calculate the values for each slot and checks if the sum is even or not. If it is even, it writes 0. If it is odd, it writes 1 to the parity drive. So in the first slot, we have 0, 0, 0, which added together is 0, so parity writes 0. Second slot is 1, 1, 1, which is 3, so parity writes a 1. And so on for all other slots. If we now add together the value in each slot, including the parity, we always get an even number. If we want to change something we have saved on a disk, like let's say we change the letter C to a letter M, it will check if a value changes, and for each change it also flips the value in the parity. M is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, so the first four numbers stay the same. The next three numbers have changed. As such, the parity also has to change to keep the sum even. The last number stays the same, so the parity does not have to change. Now, let's imagine we lose disk 2. Unraid is now able to calculate what should have been in disk 2 by reading all other values from the disk and then checking it with parity. If the number is even, then the missing disk had a 0 at that location. If the number is odd, then the missing disk had a 1 at that location. This also explains a few of the key advantages and disadvantages of Unraid. Advantages. We can just add new drives to the array at any time and any size smaller or equal to the parity. This works because a new drive can just be completely zeroed out, so it won't affect parity, and then add it. Any new data then updates parity on the fly. Data is retained on the drives that do not fail. If you have two drive failures, for example with only one parity, you can't recover the data from the two failed drives. You can, however, still access the data from all other healthy drives as the data is written normally onto it. Neutral. Read speeds stay decent. You don't gain any read speed increases, but you also do not lose any, as reading just requires the disk it's saved on and is dependent on the speed of that disk. Disadvantages. Writing is slow. Writing is limited to the speed of the parity most of the time, as any write change on any other disk means the parity has to be updated. So if you are writing to multiple disks at once, you will be bottlenecked by the speed the parity can be updated. Overall, this is why Unraid is perfect for people wanting to store large amounts of data that is not often changed. It is not very good for active, ever-changing databases. It is very good for movies and pictures. I hope this quick guide helped you understand a bit more about how Unraid works. If you want me to also explain the slightly more complicated dual parity setup, let me know down below. Until then, have a great day and enjoy your Unraid server.